Can anybody tell me the definition of a function? It's something that has to do with some sort of It's like a coordinate can't have more than one y coordinate. Very good, Luke, yes. Woo! Everywhere and always hit one point. No. Yes. Yes. I draw there, I hit one. If I draw right here, no. 
That's open. There's no point there. So I'm only hitting one. If I draw here, I'm only hitting one. So that one's open. So, yes, that's a function. So as long as you only hit one point, it's a function. Okay. What we haven't really talked about before is what if they're in equation form? How do you know there's a function or not? So
What are the possible answers why it could be if it's got absolute value of it equals 5? Five 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 yes, five that five means it could y could equal negative 5 or y could equal positive 5. Wait, so, it's so therefore, is it a function? No, because no, you can get two answers for y. So an absolute value on the x is okay. Absolute value on the y, not okay. Yeah, one other little minor thing before we get to the meat of the day. Do you all remember this lovely notation? Yeah. Okay, so if I said to you, actually make that something more involved. If I said you find me um, f of negative 4, what do I want you to do to find f of negative 4? I want to put negative 4 in for all the x. So I would put negative 4 squared, 2 times negative 4, plus 1. So that 16 times 3 is 48, plus 8 plus 1 would be 57. What did I just find? What has 57 got to do with anything? It's the value of the function, but what's it mean in terms of a graph? What did you just find? Yeah, you just found out that when you put in negative 4 for x, the y is 57. That's all you get. When you put a number in a function, you're finding the y for it. So I briefly, 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 briefly would have mentioned this to you, but we really haven't done much with these. Anybody remember what the name of this type of function is when it has different parts? Is it like a matrix or something? No. This is a a piecewise function because it has pieces. We will be learning to graph these next chapter. Okay, what it's telling you is if your x-coordinates are below 1, if the x-coordinates are below 1, you use this function. If the y-coordinates are the x-coordinates are between 1 and 5, you use this piece. If the x-coordinates are bigger than 5, then you use in this piece. So when you graph these, you literally get a piece of a graph, a piece of a graph, and a piece of a graph. The key thing is, though, if I am going to ask you to find me, say, um, f of 4, okay, if I ask you to find the f of 4, you have to figure out which piece applies. Which, where does 4 fall? Is 4 less than 1? Between 1 and 5? Yeah. 4 is between 1 and 5, so you use this piece. And therefore, it's telling you that the answer you get is Three. There's no x there. You just get three. If I tell you, ask you, say, what's f of uh, nine? Now, which piece do you use? Yeah, nine is greater than five. So I'm going. Oh, it's this piece. So I'm going to stick nine into this part of the function. So two over nine plus one. One minute warning. Is one fifth. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever you do, never, ever, 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 put your x coordinate into all three pieces. Then you're going to get three different y coordinates. It's not a function if you do that. You must, you only put it in one piece. You don't put it in multiple pieces. It's okay. It's okay. My 28 minute one posted. You can't draw a cap so I can post bigger, but I still like to stop it. You all say you like them in shorter pieces. Yeah, I do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.